All right, hey, Gemini. So you guys, I am doing um, a secret admirer read. Who's checking you out? Who's got their eyes on you? And you're gonna know this is your, your read by your energy and how you currently feel about love. So you guys, um, if this doesn't resonate, I will have uh, Taurus, Aries, Gemini, Cancer today. And then Wednesday, Thursday, I will have the other sign. So please click the notifications bell if you are if you like the, the style that's coming through here. Um, also too, for you guys, please subscribe if you're new. I'm gonna be reviewing comments um, and offering up to three people a week a read. Um, I will comment to your, your, your comment that catches my eye and I will say, hey, I feel drawn to give you a read. Feel free to email me and I'll send you the information. All right, so be in a chance for a free read, you guys. It's a full read too. All right, so let's see what your energy is, Gemini. Your energy the energy of Gemini. What do we got? The Wheel of Fortune card coming through uh, with the Six of Wands and the Nine of Swords. All right. So the Six of Wands came through in reverse. It could be that you were kind of experiencing something hopeful with somebody, um, you know, um, and it didn't work out. It didn't pan out. The Six of Wands is maybe even just kind of holding on to energy that you can't seem to get or let go of. I'll say that. Um, it could just be that you're going through a really stressful time right now and things don't just, they're not looking up, you know, um, it's fears, you know, um, anxiety, you know, and if love is really coming through a uh, strong on your heart space, it's like, maybe it's just not coming through. It's not coming through. It's not coming through in the way that you would um, have hoped for by now, which is that new beginning, you know, the wheel of fortune card is like, Hey, hello, angels, God, spirit guides, you know, um, I feel like I deserve love. So where is it at? You know, um, but let's see how you, how do you feel about love? How do you feel about love? You just want somebody that's going to draw in some harmony, some balance, somebody who's not going to leave, right? You want somebody that you can communicate with, that you have fun with, um, a, a dynamic that is protected, one that has the um, full potential of moving forward. You got temperance card coming through. So it's like you're not, even if you kind of are having a stressful time, especially if love just is not coming for you know, is if it's just not coming through, um, that could be your biggest point of like kind of contention right there. But overall, you just want somebody to come in that's going to stay, somebody that you can build and grow with, somebody that you're a team with, somebody that brings you peace and you bring them peace and honor and loyalty and love. That's what I kind of see here. All right. And, and with the nine of swords, with your energy, I just kind of feel like it's, you know, as the days progress, you might lose a little bit of hope. Um, but you're trying to maintain um, positive favor and faith that everything, you know, it's like, I feel like what, whoever is here, you kind of have to remind yourself. And I feel like that's what you do is you kind of remind yourself trusting in God, trusting in the process, trusting when it's your time, it's your time. You know, it could just be too, that it's like, but when is it coming? I deserve to have good things too, right? So let's see who the the person is, who the secret admirer is, who's got their eyes on you, who's checking you out, who's checking out Gemini. All right, so you could be, um, let's see, they could be a Pisces, they could be an Aquarius, they could be um, Capricorn. So those are the signs coming through. We have the star card, we have this a nine of cups. So what I'm going to say about this is this person is really excited to get to know you or, um, you know, come back. Um, into your life, especially if you're kind of, uh, if you got somebody heavy on your mind space. Um, but what I'm going to say, even if it's not somebody from the past, which I can't really tell yet, um, this person is, is they're coming through with the strong energy of holding space for you, but they really want to make you happy. All right. The star card is like, let me be your wish fulfillment. Let me be everything that you need. You know, um, with this energy right here, you're, I, I do feel very heavily that you would feel that same vibration and that same energy match from them. So I feel like this person does look at you with, the, you know, big eyes. Um, it's like Gemini. I can see, I could, I could see a future. Like they could see a purpose, you know, um, right here. It's like this person, I almost feel like they, I'm not going to say obsess over you, but I definitely feel like they, it's like they've already, it's like they're manifesting you. They're calling you in. So let's just see if you know who this is. Who is this person? Who is this person? So we have the Knight of uh, Earth. So um, with this right here, you guys have Taurus, you have Aries, we have, this is new, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, 
and we have the Sagittarius with the Eight of Wands. So I feel like this is new. I don't feel like um, you know this person at all. I feel like this is somebody brand new. All right. And um, so this person, as far as age goes, around 35, you got a lot of earth energy coming through here with Sagittarius. All right. And I feel like um, with this right here, it is something new. Um, you guys could have, uh, it's like, you guys could have joked around, laughed around, you know, had um, uh, periods of small talk, all right, that was light, fun, and airy. Um, but I do feel like this is somebody you've never been in a, a committed connection with before. So you could barely know who this is. They could be kind of somebody that you forgot, you know. Um, but this is somebody I feel like you guys may have had some um, light exchanges of energy, but you don't really know the depth of this person. All right, so um, let's just see. Um, let's just see how they know of you. How do they know you? How do they see you? Like, let's get a little more information so that maybe we can identify closer who this is. We have death card coming through. All right. Um, so what I'm going to say is, and the full card. Wow. This is somebody new. You could have met this somebody. You could have met this person. We have a page of pentacles coming through with the full card and with death. Gosh, man, I hate to say like you guys met at a funeral. That could be possible for some. Um, it could be too that you guys are, you, you, you mutually know somebody who passed away, um, you know, recently. Um, that's just kind of what I'm feeling about this energy. I don't want to, I don't want to have it all lingering around death. All right. But, um, you could have actually been communicating with this person about the aspects of death at one point. You guys could be joined into some sort of, um, uh, same group, um, on social media. I just kind of feel like that's where the energy is kind of sitting at here. Um, it's not the, it's not the definitive, you know, but also too, what I'm going to say is, uh, another way you could know this person, um, you guys could have had some small energy exchanges, you know, light, airy communication, and it just wasn't the right time to actually build anything from this connection, either on your end or their end. So this could have been something that was like a missed opportunity in the past. Okay. So let's just see the mutual energy uh, between you and this person, the mutual energy between you and this person. All right. Wow. So this is something in the past. I feel like, you know, even if you guys haven't, um, constantly thought about one another what i'm going to say is there's been there's been slivers that have popped back up okay we have the page of swords so you guys um actually so there's been some spying i feel like there's been some spying hey what are you up to all right um this was something that never took off i feel like this is something in the past you got the six of cups also um so representing that deep past maybe not the very deep past but this is you guys um already check each other out um, kind of, I feel maybe a little bit hopeful too. Is this going to be something that comes back around? So let's see what their desires, their deepest desires are when it comes to you. Their deepest desires, their hopes. What do they want? We got the four of cups coming through. Look at that. Another opportunity where they has there has been a missed opportunity. Yeah, look at that. The queen of fire coming through. Ooh, look at that. That's a... That's some booty right there, you guys. We have the eight of uh, water coming through, too. Their deepest desires are to come back around. They want to come back and navigate this. All right. The missed opportunity. I feel like you guys are very, there's going to be a strong uh, physical attraction between you guys. I really feel like that. Um, so let's just see a little bit about the deeper fantasies that this person may have about you. <clears throat> it's like they, they've been attracted to you. No matter what's kind of um, kept you guys split or whatever um, circumstances you have faced, they have faced. What I see is this person's definitely kind of looking at you. Um, I, you know, obviously I feel like it's a singles read, um, but it's like they're, they want to, they want to come and make claim on this opportunity or potential opportunity. Um, so let's just see um, what their fantasies have been, what their fantasies, the fantasies that they have had. What do we got? Wow. You talk about touching yourself, man. There's a seven of earth right there. They definitely want to heal the connection. I mean, you just look at these cards. They're so sexual. It's like, let me get on it, you know? And I do feel like, you know, they've thought about positions such as, um, while partaking in some alone time, you know, um, like I don't even care. All right. We have the 10 of fire coming through determination, Like right? This person's not going to let you go this time. They're not going to let you slip up. They're not going to let you, you know, kind of sink through their hands this time. You got the king of earth coming through, which is somebody who's going to come with a little bit of authoritarian, man. Uh, I want to, I want to navigate this. And then we have the 10 of earth. 
Um, this is a wish fulfillment right here. So you guys could actually be seeing um, a lot of 10s, 10, 10. All right. But this person, I do feel like they, they, it's like, they're not good. It's, I don't know. I, I, I'm getting tongue tied because I feel like this person's actually thought about you in more than one dirty way. And I do feel like they probably think about you, um, more than anything else. It's like they're, they're going to favor, um, uh, thinking about you and what positions and what they, they could take on what they're in. It's like, it's more, it's more fulfilling to think about that than to like watch a dirty movie. I'm going to say it like that. All right. So let's see if they're going to take action and come towards you. Are they going to take action and come towards you in the next 30 days? What's going to happen with this? Wow. You got, you got, wow. All right. So we have the ace of cups. New beginnings, the nine of cups, wish fulfillment, and the devil card. All right, so I, you, this person's going to take action. They are going to take action. They're going to come get this wish fulfillment that wasn't able to be carried out, I feel like, this last time. Um, I really hope that you guys can navigate into some sort of um, um, a higher experience, but I do feel like you all, the first. it's like one of the first things that you guys are going to get out of the way is the sexual tension that I feel you guys share. And I feel like it is on both ends. So if you don't know who this is quite yet or you can't remember, they're going to be making themselves known. All right, so you can anticipate it, at least this person making themselves known. And then it's up to you guys where you, where you take it from here. Okay, so initials coming through, yours or theirs, potentially, WV. We have J L and N O. Good luck with this one, Gemini. You guys take it easy.